Welcome back guys, we are in the dead of summer. We're seeing 100 degrees every single day. The last thing you want is for your air conditioner to break down or not work. We can't live like that. Jeff Owens, Preferred Home Inspections, thank you for joining us. Thank you. We're gonna talk about how to best take care of your air conditioner before there's a problem. A lot of my clients still don't know that we just need to maintain it. They've, they've gone three years without maintaining it. Bad, 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 don't do that. So we find out a lot when we come out and do inspections and it's a matter of uh, that homeowner neglect mm -hmm. and the simple things that the homeowners can do themselves, aside from having a once or twice a year licensed HVAC contractor come out and do an evaluation and keep the service up on the unit to obviously get the most maximum performance out of the system as much as possible and also increase the life expectancy of the unit. That's important. Simple thing like this here, depending on the unit you have in the design, this is called a media filter. Typically, this is up in the attic design. It came out uh, in most of the new construction and new units here in the last so many years. This is up in your attic where you don't have to go up there as often, mm -hmm. but you be the judge. This is a clean one. This is out of the box. I wanted to show you how clean this is. And then this is a dirty one. Oh yeah. See the difference? Mm -hmm. So if you neglect to change this, what happens is the dirt goes beyond this and gets into the system and you lose performance of it. Okay. So, and go ahead. Oh, so this is a media filter. Yeah. There are two kinds of homes where you have to change it at the actual location throughout the house. And then there are homes where there's just one filter in the attic, you don't have to change one. So there are two kinds of homes. And the newer ones, it's just the media filter. Okay. And then let's talk about the kinds of filters that are best for your air conditioner. Right, great question. This here is a typical filter that people are probably most common related to. This goes into, for example, the return air that's in the hallway or in the ceiling. Uh, AC is typically are designed based on a simple uh, filter. So be careful when the uh, marketing on the filter package tell you don't change out for three or four months because that's obviously trying to sell you something. So be careful with that because uh, you, if you don't change it three or four months and you wind up being dirty, then again, you go back to losing performance and you line up transferring the dirt into the system itself. So make, them, make it simple, you do buy the cheap one, replace it every single month. And uh, also with that, I forgot to say earlier, is that just don't forget about the uh, primary drain, the condensation drain, that's important too. So when you change the filter, uh, there's a drain up in the attic that has a vent to it that you're supposed to apply vinegar or bleach to it to keep that line free. That's where it's pulling humidity out of the house, it's putting it in the system, whether it goes into your vent in the attic or it's going underneath your sink, you want to also have that uh, maintained so you don't prevent the backup and then it'll shut the unit off. Okay, so how often are we supposed to do the vinegar and the... Vinegar or bleach, one of the bleach. two, not not both. One and how of much the two. are we putting up there? So just guess, Just I just say uh, there's a vent pipe come up and I usually show people when I do my inspection where it is. Okay. This is the vent pipe and just put a little funnel in there. Periodically, every time you change this filter, you change, you, you add the bleach. I say they're married. They're married. <laughs> so they'll do one without the other. So what you were saying was there are so many kinds of filters, the more expensive ones that you put here, you know, uh, are the ones that take out the pollens in the air, right. you want the cheapest one because it puts less pressure on your AC system. Exactly, exactly. Okay, there are still clients of mine that when they go on vacation, I tell them do not do this. They turn up their AC to 86 degrees. Your AC is also acting as a dehumidifier for your hardwoods. Tell me why that's so important, Jeff. Yes, humidity, we're, we're inundated with humidity down here in, in the homes, obviously. Uh, humidity gets in within the homes, it gets in all the building materials, walls, ceiling, doors. So if you have doors that also that are, don't close, you could be related to high humidity. You have fans that sag, high humidity. Flooring, carpet, for example, you start getting ripples in carpet, high humidity. Flooring, wood flooring, engineer flooring, etc. cetera. Uh, doesn't take a lot of moisture, so the humidity uh, will obviously affect that. So with the AC on running, 77 typically is what they say the high should be. Okay. At the most, that's going to be able to pull enough humidity out. But if you start uh, having it higher than 77, 78 and above, bad idea. Lot of, it's very humid, and you rise up, wind up causing a lot of potential damage and, and uh, changes throughout the floor that can cause you a lot of grief as far as replacement. Such good advice, Jeff Owens. Preferred real estate inspections. Thank Always you so good much. to see you. Thank you, Lily. See you next Thank time. you. Thank you.